the free energy of Kundalini flow, one gets blocked by the throat chakra, results in not only losing the balance of the hormone flow through the body, but also the balance of life and the mind-body system that we humans are. It gives the shoulders their second slouch in the form of a droop as well as a habitual bend to the neck stopping the head from being held high. It brings disaster. It tends to pull the third eye capper down and thus blur the vision and the mind out of their single pointed focus. It also tends to pull the crown capper down losing the dynamic focus out of its balance in life. Not only this, it also contracts the muscles around the organs placed below it, that is, the solar plexus, the abdomen, and the pelvis. It sure is a major culprit as far as the body diseases are concerned. But why on earth do we keep our shoulders drooping and our head held low? In fact we need energy to keep them upright against the pull of gravity. We don't have enough energy in our body to keep them so. Now the basic question is, why? We keep losing it and providing it to maintain the rigidity of the muscular armor all through our body. It's the effect of precisely what it is a cause, too. It makes this cause and effect maze a vicious circle of energy. The cause and the effect start reinforcing each other, giving strength not to the body, but to this vicious circle of energy. The scapula either gets stretched or else contracted in a distorted way. They exert their pull on the neck also, which gets distorted in another ugly way turning into a stiff neck that is so common a phenomenon all across humanity on the planet. The backbone takes up the shape of an inverted dutch, bending the torso down toward the pull of gravity. The jaws are pulled down too, distorting their alignment with each other. All this gets reduced to turn into an unnatural body posture, which we start taking to be a natural phenomenon. If everyone is insane around, the same will be taken to mental asylum. We turn old in our youth, never realizing what we have done to ourselves. With the throat capper getting closed, we are left with no free energy of Kundalini flow even to lovely communicate with our fellow beings on Earth. All our communications get reduced to social protocols and emotional slogan mongering alone. Poor we. You can ask me any question by filling the form on http colon slash slash www.7kakras.org slash free energy 5 if you need asking anything regarding the throat capper blocking the free energy of Kundalini flow in the body.